Good evening, everyone. I'm Jen Houston, owner of the Artsy Fartsy Gallery. I'm a full-time independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canmore, Alberta, Canada. Welcome to Four Cards and Friends. So tonight is kind of a spin-off of um, one of the sets that you wouldn't normally think would be a Christmas set, but it actually could can be and I want to show you how versatile this certain stamp set is and the reason why I'm choosing this certain stamp set is because it is 15% off right now and so what a perfect time to get this bundle hi Christine how, how are you doing <laughs> I can't get my words out tonight my goodness Kathy hi nice to see you so yes Tonight, when you pop on, say hello, tell me where you're from, if I haven't already met you, and uh, chit-chat away. You can chat amongst yourselves, you can chat with me. Um, we just like having a great time crafting together. We love learning from each other and our little ideas. Hi, Michelle, nice to see you. Oh, and Chrissy Ann's already done it. She's shared this video last video the amount of shares was seven so let's do a goal to get more than seven shares today and if we get more than seven shares I will be sending out extra happy mail let's do that hi Roz hi everybody she says yes Roz knows lots of ladies as do a lot of you <laughs> so does everyone know about this big sale that's happening kind of exciting I put in my big order again <laughs> I just got home from on stage and you know did my pre pre-order oh my yes danger it's gonna be a, it's an amazing catalog it's sometimes I have to warm up to the catalog with this one mm -mm, this was a good one so uh, yes I put in my order so I'm not sure when it's going to arrive but probably soon and then I forgot or and then Lisa and I were kind of talking about a class we're we're going to be offering might as well talk about it now I couldn't load up the picture to show you but um, sip sip hooray so we are going to use this stamp set and these dies to create some fun celebratory cards now, I don't know, because it's in the holiday catalog, your brain automatically goes towards it being a New Year's Eve or a New Year's card. Um, but I think it's got many, many different uses like anniversaries or a milestone birthday or um, retirement, um, a wedding, all sorts of things. So, um, don't limit your brain to just being New Year's Eve or New Year's cards. There's many other um, opportunities to use this stamp set. So be on the lookout for that. Um, we want you to have signed up by Friday so we can get out the kits to you so that you'll be ready to have the class on December 2nd. We kind of bumped that class up <laughs> a little sooner than we were anticipating. So um, yeah. You scroll through it and there goes the pocketbook. <laughs> yep, this is correct. Oh, lots of shares. I think we're going to hit our goal. Well, probably more than seven. That's awesome. So, uh, yes, sign up by the 20, uh, 22nd or Friday. Uh, the way you can get those card kits for free is to place an order of uh, $50 if you're in Canada or 60 or I mean $50 if you're in the US 60 if you're in Canada and you don't have to order if you don't want to order these don't order them or maybe you already have them order anything you like you can order stamps you can order you can get in on this sale right now <laughs> it's an incredible sale love it so I'm just gonna pop on here and show you the different items that are actually on sale until Friday as well. Okay, why is this? Don't like me. There we go. So this bundle is 15% off right now. Look at those those dies. That set is worth it just for those beautiful dies. Oh my goodness. 
Wow, so there's band together. There is bloom and grow. And I've seen lots of people use those sentiments on different cards. They're very, very um, useful, that's for sure. This one's not my favorite, but it's out there. Um, the memorable mosaic. That punch would be awesome. Hi, Betty. Hi, Amy. I think I've missed some people. Did I miss saying hello? Catherine and Martine. Hi, everybody. Nice to see you. We're just running through our sale items that are happening for these three days here. Then there's Dino Days. What a cute set for kids or, you know, maybe adults who like dinosaurs. <laughs> I won't limit it to kids. And then we have this parcels and petals. You know what? I don't even know what that creates, to be honest with you. Um, I would have to look. This Stampin' Up! demo doesn't know everything. Look at that. Um, Path of Petals, beautiful sentiments in this, site, in this uh, bundle, that's for sure. And here are my two favorites. Two of Wild Rose. Love, love, love. Look at that top um, framelit. It's got the stitching on it. And look at that bottom framelit that, you know, you could put that behind any sentiment kind of area. And oh, it would be, it is just stunning. Even the little on the right hand side, there's that little one, two, three, four, the little sprig, I guess. Your grandsons want you to order the dinosaur stuff. I think you should too. It's lots of fun. But that little sprig even, just behind your sentiments or the leaves there. Like, you can use that in so many ways. So that's one of my favorite for sure. And this, free as a bird, is definitely one of my top go-tos all the time. Those sentiments I use continuously those framelits all the time. We're gonna use this set today, Free as a Bird, and these framelits to show you all the different ways that you can use this, plus make it into Christmas cards, which is awesome. So there's not just stamps in this sale, there's also um, Lisa's just texting me. Yes, I believe so. We will make it work. <laughs> just responding to Lisa. Um, here are all the different colors in the neutrals collection. So you can get the ink pads. You can get the whole kit. You can get them individually. Whichever ones you're missing, grab them now while they're 15% off. So that's the neutrals. This is, these are the regals. All the different fun regal colors, definitely brighter. And the in colors from 2018 to 2020, those you can, um, buy as a kit or individually. The 2019 to 2021 stamp pads you can buy individually, but they aren't selling them as a, a bundle kind of idea because Purple Posy is no longer. They're um, have to say goodbye because it's not working out. The, the ink is just not working great. So there are those options. Plus, now we get into the paper. So all the neutrals paper. And did you know you can get every color individually or if you aren't, you know, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and don't need 40 sheets of one color, why not get these color assortment packs that come with 20 pieces of cardstock, two of each color. And then you have an assortment of all of them. Then you can have it all. <laughs> Who doesn't like having it all? And for those people that are scrapbookers, this, these do come in, in um, options of 12 by 12, as well as the eight and a half by 11. So I don't know, I say, you know, especially these neutral sets, because neutral, you know, they kind of go with everything. Snag these now. So that was the neutral set. Here's those um, regal colors. Here are the 2018 to 2020 in colors. And I tell you, my favorite right here is the 2019 to 2021 in colors. I have the ink pads, I have the paper. <laughs> I'm ordering it all, I tell you, because uh, 
they are definitely my favorites. All right, back to our scheduled program. <laughs> So if any of these items interest you, please let me know. I can help you order them. Or of course, you can always go online and order um, yourself. Just look for me as your demonstrator. Or if you live in the US, contact Lisa and she will most certainly help you out. If you forget or don't know how, contact me and I can help you. All right, next thing. I buy the color sets of cardstock because I can't afford all the individual colors. Absolutely. Well, and not most people don't need, you know, 40 sheets of one color. That's why it's kind of fun to do either paper swaps so that, you know, you get half of half a pack. Say I buy one color and you, Amy buys another color and then we, we split it and we now have two colors, right? 20 of each. Or you can do it, you know, however many ways you want. But now is a great time to do that. Get yourself 15% off. And being a demonstrator, as Amy will know, we get 15% off like everybody else, but we also get our 20% off. So that's 35% off. And if depending on where you are kind of in sales wise, that can go up to 40% off. So that is why I'm ordering stocking up now. Definitely a perk of being a demonstrator. If you have not thought about it, get your starter kit and get these amazing deals. And I can help you with that too. Hi, Nita. Nice to see you. I talked to Nita on the phone today. I was so happy to hear her voice. So that's great. So in my mail, I got this cutest card from Carla. Carla from the US. I don't even think she's on here yet. Anyways, I'll, I have to say a big thank you to her. I think it's so cute. How's it going? And look what she used. Those stitched nested label dies. Isn't that adorable? I love it. And I think she used pencil crayons to color it. And why not? And look at all the daisies. Oh, Amy, look at all the daisies. I call Amy Daisy because she, she does so well with these neat daisy, um, this daisy set. I love it. How What a great idea to match that with that daisy on the cow. It's 15% off. I thought you said, I thought it was 10% off. Yeah, it's 15. 15% 15 off um, the items. And then you get, um, of course, your discounts because you are a dome. So it's a great deal. <coughs> oh, my goodness. Andy says, yes, it is. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Mama's gonna get angry. Love that cow, right? Okay, moving on. So here's our free as the bird, as a bird. Used it often, often, often. I love it. Thanks for sharing, Julie. Ooh, we might be almost at seven now. We're, our goal is to share this more than seven times. And if they, if we, if you guys share this more than seven times, and I'm sending out extra happy mail. Love it. Okay, our first card of the evening. Let me show you my example first. Look, love these colors, these calm colors. Okay, just a minute. What? You don't like, you wanna say hello? Look at this thing. She grew a beard like overnight. She's got white hairs in, in between her eyes all of a sudden. Oops. I don't know. Look how big she is already. <laughs> She's just got the volume up. Is it? I'm at six so far. Oh, watching bits of you ha have my one year old granddaughter here today. Oh, nice. There's little Lindy. Look how long she is. She's a long, little thin thing and she just is when she wants something, she barks. And Mama is desperately, you're trying to talk to my, talk to my dogs? Here, Andy, look. <gasps> look, they're trying, you don't wanna look at it. Oh, but yes, she's, look, she's grown a hairy chest. She's a she. <laughs> oh dear, and there's good old Bud. Here's the other one. Big Bud, that's it, the brother. 
he's a little older, but he's nice and relaxed and a calm kind of dog, aren't you? Yes, much more my speed. <laughs> right? Yes. Okay. I think she got what she wanted from Bud. And now I think we can continue <laughs> without parking in the background. All right, here we go. So what I used here was those stitched nested label dies. And I used very vanilla mossy meadow, which is in the neutrals color. And this is soft sea foam. I, kind, I had kind of forgotten about this color, but I quite like it. And this card was inspired by Stamp and Savvy. So I don't want to take total credit for this idea, but what a great idea to put this stitch nested label die underneath facing this way. And then your main kind of idea facing sideways. So I just stamped these birds on that die and colored them with, let me see, I did mint macaron, um, balmy blue, is that flirty from my flamingo, I believe, gray granite, mossy meadow leaves, and then I went around everything with pool party. You saw this card on Pinterest in red. Well, just wait a minute. <laughs> we are going to change this into the Christmas card. So for the inside, I just stamped this like so. And then of course, for the outside of the envelope there again, I just see how I stamped. And then I just went around it with the so uh, no soft sea foam stamp and blend. Great. Love it. Just a little something and I did a thanks for being you on the envelope flap. So that's great, but let's change this up and make it into a Christmas card like what Amy was talking about. So I've got my Stampin' Blends. I had a great time this afternoon coloring with these. Oh, it's just great. Okay, so look at this. So here are my colors that I'm going to use. Cherry Cobbler, Mossy Meadow, uh, Soft Sea Foam, Cajun Craze, and then I'm going to use, what is this one again? Light Calypso Coral. So these are the ones I'm using, but of course, if you don't have these, you can get them. Or you can use whatever you've got. You can, maybe you have um, um, the stamp and Write markers. Maybe you have pencil crayons that would work, um, the watercolor pencil crayons, what have you. But isn't that, isn't that stunning? And I also did up the envelope. Oh, you know what I forgot to do was get out all of my Christmas Christmas stamps for the sayings. Anyways, I will do that while we work. Okay, so let's get rolling here to make that same kind of combo. I've got myself a Cherry Cobbler card base. You like those colors together? Perfect. They just scream Christmas, right? The red and the green. So cherry cobbler card base, and then I have a layer here that's um, four by five and a quarter of cherry cobbler as well. And what I want to do is use this brick embossing float folder. It's got a lot of texture to it. The only thing I wanted to show was that it needs one of these shims. So you can purchase these. I don't know. It's just the or at least on my machine, it's kind of that in between. You can't use what you have because it's too tight. And if you get rid of things, it's too loose. So if you purchase one of these, it makes it dress right. <laughs> so I don't know if you knew this, but Stampin' Up! Embossing Folders now have a line here to help you get the pattern straight on your cardstock. So you line up the bottom of your cardstock with that line there, like so. And I'm going to close it up and bring up my big shot and wiggle my waggles away. <laughs> so for this, you take off all the plates, okay? Except for this bottom base section. I'm sorry I'm late. I'm uh, watching a box opening by our uplines. Ooh, nice. Yes, can't wait till mine comes. So you put your embossing folder down with your paper and then 
we're gonna slide this blue plate over top and run it through. And I've got tea on this table. This is probably not a good idea. And this is wobbling. It's glass right over top of my, my little cup of tea. Let's just put that over there for safekeeping. All right, check this out. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Shakes my sillies out. <laughs> Isn't that cool how they're all different uh, heights, I guess you want to say? Some pop out more than others, which I think is absolutely fun. But what a neat pattern to put on your paper. Okay, let's put this down. And we're going to start, wait, well, should we, now nah, let's color first before we start assembling everything. So I have our big uh, stamp with those birds. So I'm just gonna use my Memento ink. That works really well with our Stampin' Blends. Who has Stampin' Blends? Give me a thumbs up. They're pretty awesome, that's for sure. Okay, now I wanna put a sentiment up at the top, so I'm gonna put my birdies a little lower down on that die shape. Okay, so now we're going to get to coloring. So I'm going to use my first, I'm going to start with the branch. So dark, soft suede, and I love how Stampin' Up! gives us kind of an idea where we should put the darker version of these markers. So basically anywhere where there's a little shadow or where, where there's tick marks, I'm actually doing their feet as well. And then here comes my, the light version of the soft suede. And I just go over top and it kind of blends in nicely with the darker version. And the great thing about these uh, markers are that they are alcohol markers and they kind of don't leave streaks, which is really nice. Okay, let's go on to Mossy Meadow for those leaves. So I've got the dark version, which I'm gonna do first. So I'm just making little lines over top of what they already have there. Don't forget this little leaf there. And I'm gonna just do them all. Normally, you might, if you want to kind of blend them a little more, you would do the dark version and kind of right away do the lighter version over top and it just kind of blends it a lot more. These are such small shapes that it's not, uh, not that important. You guys love your blends? Yes. I didn't think of using this set for Christmas cards till you saw this. Yeah, right? Me either. I totally had, you know what I had? <laughs> I had Yummy Christmas, that set all ready to go for tonight. I had the cards ready. I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this tonight. And then when the sale came on, I'm like, but I kinda wanna do something that's on sale so that I can showcase it and maybe, you know, somebody will wanna order it. So away I went, starting from scratch, <laughs> to uh, look for something that would be suitable right now. And I'm, oh, I am so low on thank you cards and um, friendship cards, but I thought this is my perfect set. I love this set for, for that kind of idea. Okay, let's go in with our color that I use here, red. Okay, so my dark cherry cobbler, I'm gonna get those little flowers done. I'm going on in the center. I love the sayings from this set. Just beautiful. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the lighter version. And go right over top. 
but can you see how this, if you don't have the blends, you can always use something else. And later on, I'm gonna show you actually just how to use your inks and blender pens. Because I don't have all of the stamp and blends. Um, stamp and blends, in fact, don't come in every single color. So there's ways to kind of get around that. All right, I'm gonna use my Cajun Craze. I know, a weird color. But I just kind of wanted to break up some of that bright red and kind of just go on the wings more so. Oop, I see I missed myself a, uh, just a leaf here. And then go in with the light version. And then I'm gonna go in with the dark cherry cobbler. Kind of go where those shadows might be. And if I go over a little bit of the cherry car or the um, Cajun craze, that's even more, even better. I kind of want to just kind of smush it all together. Cute. Can you see how that's kind of blended? Let me show you. Just kind of that that um, Cajun craze kind of it breaks it up a little. Okay, and then we'll go in with light Cajun craze. I don't know if you can see properly with my hand in the way. <laughs> and the dark cherry cobbler. Even if you were just to put um, little dots on the chest. Why not? Maybe this bird is extra fluffy. Or maybe it's young. <laughs> Don't young birds have a little more spots? I know the robins when we used to live in Manitoba, of course we'd have lots of robins building nests in our carport and all over the place and those little babies would be just adorable with their little spots. It's all fun and games until along comes a cat or a blue jay. One time this, poor, this blue jay came out of nowhere and took one of the babies out of the nest and off it went. I'm like, oh my word, we don't need our own kind. What's happening? <laughs> Hi, Lisa. So after that, I wasn't too big of a fan of Blue Jays. Let's just say that. <laughs> All right, I almost done this coloring. It's very relaxed. Had a great afternoon, great day. Okay, bring in the cherry cobbler. Let's give him some baby spots too. And here we are. And then I see we'll go back and get that one leaf that I missed finished. seems to give you arm muscles I tell you. blue jays are bullies oh you believe that too man I was shocked I, okay this is um, I believe light calypso coral yes and I'm gonna do their beaks in that color I really don't think they're orange but then again I don't think there's any of these real <laughs> these birds that look like this we're gonna make it up okay I need to find myself some Christmas sayings here. Um, Christmas from the Christmas gleaming so of course this will make uh, you can use whatever stamps you have to for the readings for this set because of course it's not going to coordinate with Christmas but okay what color should we go I was think red green oh, oh. what's up Indy all by yourself. Did 
if I'd leave you alone. Okay, here's my mossy meadow. Let's go in with mossy meadow and just go. Oh, I can't see. Let me turn it a little. Let's go upside down. Less, less pressure. My mossy meadow needs a little ink. It's, a, it's been acting weird. I, I'm not sure. Might have to get a replacement, that's for sure. Okay, let's, I think we can start gluing. So I'm going to get this beautiful brick pattern onto my card base. You wish you could color as fast as I am. <laughs> yeah? You're a slow colorer. Okay, so next I'm going to take this little piece of mossy meadow like so and I'm just going to put it pointing up and down over top of that brick pattern. And before I put this down, I'm actually going to use some of this cute ribbon. It's diagonal stripe ribbon. It's got cherry cobbler and I believe very vanilla. If not, it looks like very vanilla. <laughs> We're going to call it very vanilla. Because I just kind of wanted to make little tags sticking out. Man, I have got to clean these scissors. I say that every time. I don't even have time to clip my toenails. I was thinking. <laughs> I have to sit at my craft table with at least one of the dogs on my lap. I wish I could do that, but my stomach's too big. <laughs> Kevin does it all the time. Oh, that's good. Um, he just, yeah, Bud will just sit on his lap and, yeah, just lay there and have a sleep. Me, no, there's no room. <laughs> I'd be, have to be like, and that just wouldn't work for me. Okay, so before I glue this down, I want to just put some snail behind this section. Isn't that cool when you, you flip it over and, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to glue that where I want it, want them. And we'll just add a little something to it. And let's get our dimensionals to pop this layer up. Make it look cool. One more. The more the merrier, right? <laughs> okay. Let's add this right over top. Like so. Isn't that cute? And then I think we need some little decorations over here. So what I've got are these gold, oh dear, what are, they're brand new, they come with the Christmas time kind of set, Christmas time is here set, if you know the name you can type it out, that would help me, I'm just going to pull those off, we're actually going to use these in the Sip Sip Hooray class that's coming up, you know all these little bubbles. Can you just see, picture it? These little gold bubbles. And there we go. They're nice because they're very flat. Sometimes they come and they're quite thick, but these ones are nice and they're good. All right, there is our little outside of our card. Absolutely case this, go for it. And my little inside piece, I'm gonna glue in. But crazy how this, why not use this for Christmas? And of course the envelope. So I've got this. I might do get a little Merry Christmas set or something and put it on the flap, but there we go. Now, I wanna hear, which do you like better? Glitter drops, gold glitter drops, thank you very much. So which color combo is your favorite? Or I guess they're kind of different, right? If you were to make one of these cards, which one would you make? Let's go with that. Green or red? What would you say? 
Rita Red. And I'm going to start cleaning up some of these things while you vote. I make noise. <laughs> squeak, squeak, squeak. Okay, let's go away. Let's do stampin' games. Can go away. Both. Oh, come on, pick one. red. Hi, Jennifer. I didn't see you pop on. You like the red, hey? You're kind of, you're a farm kind of girl. I love how you post, always, always post the um, pictures of cows. I think it's so cute. So yeah, I could see like red barn. I could see you doing red. Lisa says red. I like them both. Depends on what you're using them for. Absolutely the red. See, I'm totally with this one. This time you will do the red, okay. I would totally go for this one. That's just me, right? But this one I think is great for Christmas, like you say. It just kind of depends on the occasion. You were late coming in, no worries. Just glad you popped in and uh, said something. All right, so there's that idea, but how easy with those stitch nested label dies to just put that on there. Easy peasy. Next card is this one. Now, where did I put the, here it is. This was inspired by Le Blog de Cathy. It's country-ish, the red, that's right. Nita says red, oh, okay. Oh, but Kathy's gonna go with green. Oh, we got a green person, awesome. You're kind of calm like me, Kathy. So, Look at this one. I love this um, shape with these nested, uh, stitch nested label dies. And I'm gonna show you how to make this kind of pattern, which is kind of fun. So this is my, you know, everyday kind of version. And of course the world needs more of you. Who wouldn't love that in the mail? And, oh, pretty, pretty. And then on the inside, I just stamped a little bit of that. And on the envelope, stamped off and then stamped on there. All right, let's roll with our Christmas version. Can you guess what colors I'm gonna do? I tried to use some non-traditionally. Well, they're traditional colors, but not the like old olive and the you know, real red. I tried to go a little weird, just like me. <laughs> All right, so what I'm using is Pretty Peacock and Poppy Parade together. You see how those pop? Woo! And they're on the envelope. I just stamped again. This is something else. Oh, <laughs> I hope a good something else. All right, so my uh, Poppy Parade um, card base. And then I've got myself this pretty peacock layer. So that's four by five and a quarter. And what I used on this other one was this tufted, tufted embossing folder. And it is one of those thick, thick ones. So when you send it through the big shot, you need to take away some plates. So I'm going to My pretty peacock layer. I think the darker the color, the more the pattern stands out on the paper. Okay. You love those. You're not weird. You're lovely. Oh, <laughs> you like the color choice? Two colors together, right? Oh, they're a little different, but we'll see how it goes, right? So I'm just lining up this paper right along that line. Oh, you can't see. I'm too close to it. See how I lined it up along the bottom, and all I need is the right on the plate, and then only one sandwich top. Otherwise, it's it, if you know you don't have to do this exactly right. If you get all the sandwich together and it's too thick, it's just not going to go through. That's all. You'll learn after a while. <laughs> Look at that pattern. Pretty, 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 p
pretty pretty I think yeah I think the darker the color the more the pattern shows so that's kind of fun let me put that away now I've got this stitched nested label die see I'm learning how to say that <laughs> For the longest time, I could not say that right. I would forget every time. So even though this one is cut up, don't worry. Oh, actually, you know what? I didn't cut that right. This, sorry, pretty peacock layer has to be five by three and three quarters, pardon me. So let's just trim that up right now and get that done. Because I'll go to assemble the card and be like, what's going on? So even though it's cut up, we're going to stamp our birds all the way across like we did the last time. And this one I can put closer to the middle because it's going to, uh, I don't need to put anything up on the top or the bottom. So I'm using my memento ink again. And there we have it. Now, let's go in with our branch. I've got myself some bronze. So I'm just gonna go first over top of all of the nicks of the branch and the feet. And then I'll go over top. So there we go. Then for the, I'm going to do red for the flowers. Did I not do? No, I didn't. Okay. I thought I did it inside for this. Because I just did the flowers. Okay, no worries. Um, but -um, but -um, I need the dark. Just putting the dark on those insides. And here comes the light. Do you prefer the mid point on your Stampin' Blends? They seem too bold for you. Absolutely, they are. <laughs> they are way out of my comfort zone. Do you prefer the nibbed side of your Stampin' Blends or the painting side? Which do you prefer? I know some people, some people definitely have a preference. Okay, I'm going to make these birds. I th I was going to make them red, but I wonder would it be totally out? Well, might be totally out to lunch to have them yellow. I'm not sure. Let's just go with red stick with red okay so dark here we go I have an idea to give it a little something extra okay I have the next birdie what we would name them if we if they were our pet birds just based on their looks what would what would you name them this one looks kind of angry <laughs> what I call them oh I mean maybe I better not name them <laughs> say what I think they look like and then name them something in case you're like husbands are named that or something you like the nib side yes me too definitely more better able to control it know what I would well I I don't know what I would call this one seems a little more studious I don't know my little niece is very studious so I would call this Macy this one's facing the total opposite direction so I would name that after my niece Audrey she likes to beat to her own drum she's got her own opinions about things and she is seven 
and it's so cute. Okay, now to change this up a little, I'm gonna actually get out my crumb cake. I know, I know, weird. And add a little brown. Let's just, you know, give a little shadow of this, that, and the other. Just give it a little more extra dimension. A little more brown on the head. It almost turns it into a cherry cobbler kind of look. A little bit. And of course, if it's a little too strokey looking, go back and color in over top and it'll kind of nicely blend it out for you. Okay, there's my birdies. Hi, Carla. I loved your car, your cow card. Thank you so much for sending that to me. I showed it at the beginning. It was so cute. I loved it. I don't even have that set, by the way, so I love getting that. Now, I do not have a, a pretty peacock stamp and blend. There is such a thing, but I have not got it. So what I'm going to use, and what you can use if you don't have a, the stamp and blends, this is an option. So, of course, you squeeze your ink pad really hard, and it puts some ink over here onto the lid. And you're just going to go in with your, your uh, blender pen, now remember, you can always go um, darker, but you can't go lighter. So start off, you know, a little conservative. Now. And I'm just going to color them in. I'm going to go dark first. And then we're just going to smoosh the ink around just to make it kind of light for the other portions of the leaf, if that makes sense. I know what I'm talking about, but most of the time nobody else does. <laughs> My words don't come out right often. But welcome to Fibro Fall. Okay, let's just wiggle that, get off most of that ink, and then I'm going to come back and just smear that ink that's already there around a little, like so, just to fill them in. Okay, now for their beaks, should we go weird and go yellow? Is there such a bird? Is there such a bird with yellow beaks? I don't know. Or orange? I think yellow. I want it. I, for some reason, I want yellow. So let's go with crushed curry. Oh, dark daffodil delight. Let's go with daffodil delight. And here we go. Now, there we go. Is this screaming? I'm gonna do this anyway. I'm gonna take my pool party. I'm actually going to use the side with the watercolor paint side and I'm just going to go all the way around just to kind of add some a background color without coloring in the whole entire background. It's one of those easy ways I used to teach my students that you know if you color around it then you don't have to color the entire background but it gives you the illusion that oh, that's what color it is. Mm -hmm. Fill in those little gaps there. And this is pretty forgiving if it's not, you know, as thick as the other sections or thinner than the other sections. Meh. Doesn't really matter. Nobody's measuring. Right, Lisa Harden? 
She always gets out her trusty ruler just to make sure everything's lined up perfectly. And then there's me who just goes for it and hopes for the best. <laughs> also notice that she makes a lot less mistakes. <laughs> mm -hmm. There. Oh, I'm glad I did that. That really matches nicely with that pretty peacock layer, actually. I quite like it. Okay, so now that we are done coloring up these birds, we're going to do some cutting. Exactly. So where there's a space in between the birds um, is where I'm going to kind of line this guy up. Now I think I went this direction the last time. So um, what I did was the three birds are going to the end of the um, stitch nested label die is actually going to meet up with two and three quarters. So that's going to be my guide of where to cut this thing. So you're just going to cut it in half. You've cut Two and three quarters, chop it in half. And now I've got this little stitch nested label die and I need to stamp some kind of Christmas sentiment there. And, hmm. I'm thinking sweetest, happy and yummy is not really. <laughs> Wishing with a good wishing you a happy Christmas. Yeah, let's go with that one. I think that's appropriate. Uh, let's make sure it doesn't say yummy because I don't think birds want to be eaten. Just saying. All right, this is my happy, and this will be wishing you. This will be kind of neat because it's got the multi colors. With this yummy Christmas stamp set. All right, let me get my black pimento and we will stamp wishing you, or tis this season. No, that's not what I wanted. This part, me. There. Okay, get out my black pimento. Am I even on the screen? <laughs> Wishing you a something Christmas. Good. And now I think this is screaming for what? Pretty peacock for the happy or the red. Let's go poppy parade. Okay, and how cool is this? But the happy bow is right in between those two. Pop it. Good. Now we can start assembling because I actually already um, stamped a memento with, um, and you colored in that flower that comes in the set. And I did, did two sets of leaves, exactly how I colored these in. So we are now ready to assemble. Let's go with our card base and our pretty peacock layer. And let's put it on this in the center of our card. Next, I'm gonna put our snail tape or whatever adhesive you're gonna use on the back of the larger size of birds, and I'm gonna line up this edge with the edge of the pretty peacock layer. Like so, kind of up on the top third section. And then this other little half of a bird is going to actually be kind of butted up to th the right hand side. Like so. You can leave kind of as big or as small of a gap as you, you want. Whew, those colors pop. And then this is going to be our wishing you a happy Christmas. I'm just using snail on the back. 
and we're going to kind of fit this one in where it kind of seems to want to go best. I think right there. And lastly, we're going to add our little flower in here. So I'm just going to put some snail on the back of the flower and add on these little sprigs here. One you'll see, I cut off, I cut this portion off for this side and this side I just left as is. All right, let's pop this up with our dimensionals. I'm gonna use my mini ones because there's some fine little details here. Here they are. If you don't have the minis, of course, you can always just cut your larger ones in half or use the outsides. What size nested labels did I use? Okay, let me figure that out for you. And here we go. Like so. Isn't that cute? And then I think just to finish this little section off, let's use those gold faceted gems. Just looks screams Christmas. And I'm just gonna put one of the larger ones right there. Fancy schmancy. Okay, let me get my ruler and my stitched nested label dies. Where are you? Hmm. Rectangles. Seasonal. Okay, I will continue trying to look for them while I keep working here. They can't be far, right? <laughs> I know the larger one was the second largest. Life's too short to cut dimensionals by the minis, right? Do I sense a snarky tone in my voice? For what? Well, that's a cute layout. It's like you know what you're doing or something. <laughs> Love how it pops, right? Ooh. It really pops for sure. I bow down to Jen Skillow. I think that that one's your favorite. It does, the, the, the colors do pop, that's for certain. Um, I'm pretty sure that lar the nested label was the second largest for the big one. And then I, I, I'd have to look up for you. Now why, oh there we go. Let's add the insert. That I've already pre-stamped. So all I did to get this color was stamped in Memento Black, stamped off once, and then um, put it onto the cardstock. Same with those birds. I almost think the birds need some color, but we'll see. I'll go in maybe later and uh, jazz those up a little bit. See, I'm sarcastic so often that when I'm sincere, it sounds sarcastic. I'm just, I'm sure there's a word for that. <laughs> So yes, so Martine's already decided. She knows what comes next. All right, which color? What's your favorite? Let's just go right here. What's your favorite? Brown or we'll say red, brown or red. This one I used crumb cake and uh, smoky slate, by the way. I also used flirty flamingo, mint macaron, Smoky Slate and Crumb Cake. And then I used Petal Pink for the little um, beaks. But yeah. So vote away amongst yourselves while I clean up a little here. I'm glad I did the outline of the, the uh, pool party. Made it kind of, kind of finished it a little. Oh, we got a bow. We got a red. Woohoo. Lisa's a bold gal. <laughs> the other Lisa says red too. You like the original better? Yeah. 
neat. Okay. And now our last card for the evening. I could only fit three in today with all the coloring that had to be done and, and fussy cutting. <laughs> so let's move these out of the way. get those measurements for you, Amy. That one. And this one. I believe maybe it's smaller than that. Uh, no, I think that's the one. Okay, so this one is the little guy is about two and a half ish length. Oh, Jennifer likes the red too. And the large one is, I'm gonna say like four and a half, if that helps. Four and a half and two and a half. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Ross. I always love when you sneeze, you know, when you're not supposed to. Or you make all those faces and then it doesn't come out. I did that, was that yesterday? I was at a toy store looking for little things for my niece's advent calendar. So I sent them an advent calendar and they put it all together and then I've been collecting little things that are go going to go in each of the little um, little drawers. I'm going to call them drawers, the little boxes. And with that, because of course they're, you know, very health conscious and so they, you don't want to give them candy for every day, but you do want to be a good aunt. <laughs> so um, where was I going with that? Oh yes, that I'm going to, I've written out 25 things that I love about each of them. And so each day they'll have a little thing that you can uh, pull out and read about why I love them. And then a little, little treat, which I'm sure they'll appreciate more than the sayings. Can you just buy the stamp if, and if so, how much? Thanks. Yes, you can. It is on page 91 in the catalog. Um, oh, here, I actually put it away, just a minute. 91. The only thing is that you won't get the 15% off, um, because they're only giving them 15% off of the bundles. But, seriously, this is a great stamp set. Like, it says, thank you, hello. The world needs more of you. Thanks for being you. We're the best of friends. Your friendship means the world to me. I use this stamp set so often. So it is $30. So if you want to grab that, let me know and I can help you order that out, out for you. But yeah, such a neat way to um, make Christmas cards. Hello. <laughs> All right, here is our last card. Used some of my favorite colors. That is a great idea with the notes. Oh, thank you. And so gray granite, the tin tile embossing folder, stunning. That organdy petal pink ribbon, petal pink, very vanilla. And of course I um, did kind of the same colors in here. I used the um, mint macaron, petal pink. I used gray granite and I actually added, I don't know if you can see, but like I added little bits of green and pink inside, you know, the feathers. Why not? Um, fussy cut it, the whole thing, because it doesn't come with dies and, or a punch. What's happening here? Oh my. Let's glue that a little better. You should probably use tear and tape because when you use the embossing folders and it gets a little bumpy, then um, sometimes tear and tape will hold it a little nicer, but, but how pretty, right? made it home for the last card awesome and there again i just you know stamped and stamped off of that little flower and here's my little birdie which i may go around with petal pink just to kind of outline it and i put thank you on the back flap so here we go let's make our christmas version 
we're gonna use shaded spruce. This color's bold, <laughs> but it screams Christmas. Petal paint or um, shaded spruce. Okay, but this time we're gonna use the tin tile embossing folder. By the way, I have an extra big shot that I am wanting to part with. It's still in the box. Haven't even taken it out. So if that interests anybody, the problem will be shipping. That's my only, I don't know. I'd have to think about price and how we could get it to you. Okay, so you're lining up your paper again with that bottom layer. Hi, Sandy. And I always kind of check out the pattern as well. I kind of don't want a lopsided pattern, if that makes sense. So I kind of make sure that kind of the, it's symmetrical, let's say. So it's the same kind of on both sides. All right, and this is a, another one of those fat embossing folders. So basically you take off all the plates and just except for one over top, and away we go. Rolling, rolling, rolling. I'm excited to see what Stampin' Up! comes out with for uh, a new die cutter. They haven't kind of made any announcements yet or anything. They're still kind of in the works. So that's kind of all we know. All right, look at that green. Look at that pattern pop. Love it. Love it. Okay, next. I have pre-colored all these little critters because I figured by this time, <laughs> I'm sure you you are tired of watching me color. So what I did was three leaves. There again, I didn't have shaded spruce. The I didn't have shaded spruce uh, stamp and blend. So I just used the ink pad with the blender pen just like I did before. And then I have two large flowers colored in Poppy Parade and a little flower in Poppy Parade. And this birdie, I added some red, red touches. If you're really wanting to buy a scanning cut, I know, I, I mm. oh my word, I just looked at the screen and I see how messy it is behind me. <laughs> Welcome to how I work during the day. <laughs> Crazy chaos. Okay. So I pre-cut colored those. Here's a little strip. I believe it's three and a half by three quarter inch. I'm just going to make a ribbon cut on one end. So cut straight up the center and then from the corner to the middle. I flip it over just so I can do the same thing over and over. So I've now, I've now made a nice even ribbon cut. I also have one of those stitched rectangle dies to put my little saying on, which I'm going, let's see. Hmm. You might be stuck with Merry Christmas again. I do not know where I put my my little uh, snowman set. Hmm. It's buried under something. Oh, here. Just a minute. Well, we've got this one, Season's Greetings, but that, I, I don't think that's going to fit on there. That's not going to work. I know in the... Um, itty bitty greetings. There's the tis the season. I think we're just going to stick with Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And let me get a block. And let's just go in here with this. Now, Poppy Parade or Shaded Spruce. Let's go with Shaded Spruce. Yeah, let's go. Eh. Yeah, let's go. Shade, shade of spruce. <laughs> I have been saving up for one, but I'm also not 100% sure I want to spend the money. That's the thing. Like, I, no sooner I'll buy one and then Stampin' Up! will come up with theirs. But, you know, sometimes you get a little tired of waiting and waiting and waiting for them to come out with something, right? So, you gotta do what works best for you. It would be a very special treat, yes. Okay, here we go. Let's try and get this straight. I'm doing it more towards the right hand side. Yeah, 
love when it works. Now, the reason why I picked shaded spruce in the first place was because of this ribbon, the striped ribbon. Of course, it's got that little bit of gold there, which I think looks beautiful. So I think we are ready to start assembling. So I'm going to move this aside in our tin tile layer. I'm going to just cut a strip of this ribbon, flip over this tin tile, add some glue on the back, and just flip it over like so. I like it. Good. All is well with the world. Lovely. Now I'm going to take this piece of Poppy Parade and kind of go over top of that ribbon. And did I pop that guy up? Uh, no. I just glued it down. And here again, you might want to use tear and tape just because it's bumpy and sometimes it doesn't stick the best. So totally up to you. Next, I'm going to put my little Christmas layer, and that I glued down as well. Oh, trying to bring the bird, giving everyone the bird. <laughs> the holiday ribbons are so beautiful this year, absolutely, yes. They are gorgeous. So there we go with our Merry Christmas. And now let's start assembling here. So I have two of the larger flowers at the back. So one I kind of have a little over here, and another one oh, out of glue. Let me just grab another one. And the other one I'm just going to put over here a little bit. Okay, itchy nose, man. Itchy today. Allergic to something. Maybe the hibiscus. Did y'all see my hibiscus? What happened to the doll you had behind me? She's missing. She's laying down right now in my mess. Her name is Jenny. She's my, when my mom had Craig, my brother, I got a, I got a baby too and, her, and this was her. It was Jenny. <laughs> She's really a nice doll. She's not one of those Chucky dolls or, you know, those, you know, creepy dolls. Even though her hair might look like it. Sometimes my hair looks like this too. And uh, we look like each other, don't we? <laughs> she needs some glasses though. Remember that doll hair back in the day? Oh my word, that stuff would stand straight up. Wouldn't cooperate at all. All right, let's get these leaves glued down. And just add them kind of from wherever you think. Should be using that um, silicone mat so I don't get all gooey on my paper. Let's go one over here and one more. Look at that. See, it doesn't stick to the silicone mat, so it's, it's one of those things you should really have. Okay, and let me go out here. Next, let's attach the birdie. I'm just going to use snail get lots on because since you're using this mat it doesn't go everywhere. Sandy Peters got a fancy number. What does that mean? 8675309. Hey isn't that uh, that's a song. <laughs> there and lastly just to cover up those ugly feet. Uh oh. Where is my little flower? One of those days where you lose everything. Jenny, do you, did you grab my flower with your beauty hair? Hmm. Well, it'll turn up somewhere. Turn up somewhere. Okay, I'll add it on later. But anyways, I just popped that up with dimensionals and um, placed it over top of those ugly feet. Some people think they're ugly. I don't know. 
um, or they're pretty. Let's go, the last one I put on were pearls on this version. So let's go, I think I want pearls. Or we, no, no, let's use our nice gold dots. Because there's the gold and the ribbon. Let's stick with that. Okay, let's get, get out a big one. <laughs> there we go. Just needed a little force. Let's put one there. And a smaller size. These are so such low profiles, they don't wanna don't wanna move so well. Let's go one in here and a tinier one. Come on. Up here. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. Those look good. Okay, let's attach this to our card base. Now I always tend to put some snail over top of those ribbon pieces just to give it extra piece of um, security. Here we go, onto our card base. And for the, look, look at that, I like it. For the inside, I just, like I said, stamp those flowers. You could color them, of course. hair out of there. Open this up and lay that in, in there. And then I have the envelope that I had the same 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 idea for the last version. So I think I want to jazz him up somehow, but um, we'll see. So which do you like better? Silicone mats are the cat's pajamas for polymer stamps too. I suppose, right? Because then if you stamp, look what I did. If you stamp off, you can just wipe it off. Smart. I really hadn't pulled mine out until, this is embarrassing to say, but like, I don't know, two weeks ago, I had four of them for classes. I really hadn't used it at all until I watched one of Lisa Curcio's um, videos. And she was bound and determined to use this mat. And I see why now. <laughs> it all makes sense. Alrighty, everyone. You can vote. Which color combo do you like better? Green or gray? We'll say green or gray. What's your favorite? And let me, maybe in the process, I will find my little, little red flower to glue on. Oh my goodness, it's been over an hour. Thank goodness we didn't do four cards. We'd all be sleeping by now. Green, green. You like the first one, Lisa? Silicone mats are great for mirror stamping too. Yes, that is something I haven't tried yet, but I need to. I'm just nervous. I love the original, but really like the Christmas version too. Yeah, they're too different to pick. Oh, Lisa Kate has got the got the gray one. Yeah, they're different for different occasions for sure, but who would have thought this stamp set could be Christmas? Not me. But it works. Little Pinterest and a little inspir some inspiration and away you go. All right, I'll go with the gray, Martine says. Yeah, they're different. Cute. All righty, everybody. I hope you had fun creating these Christmas cards out of this bundle. If you are interested in getting this bundle or any of these um, fun colors like the gray granite, the crumb cake, um, some of those soft set of colors, colors that go with so many things, get it now for uh, you will get 15% off which is always lovely um, same with this stamp set this bundle get um, get it now if you like it and let's use it in multiple ways like we have all right anything else I've forgotten to say not likely <laughs> if I have I'll remember it later and when it doesn't count <laughs> The stamps are so versatile. We just need to think outside the box, right? 
Yeah, yeah. I was even thinking like with this bird on this one, if you had those, li whoop, this way, if you had, you know those little hats from the snowman set, you just put the little Christmas hat on it. Wouldn't that work? It would just make it kind of fun and Christmassy just by doing that. Or, you know, putting snowflakes around it and, and putting on that little hat. I guess you couldn't put the mitts, but <laughs> could be sitting on mitts, right? Uh, loved watching you change these cards into Christmas cards. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. It was so fun stamping with you. I couldn't wait to come on here today and show you, show you these different versions. So thank you so much for going on this journey with me. And I really appreciate all of you. And we're going to go back and see how many shares we've got to see if we get an extra card out for Happy Mail. You learned so much from me today and yesterday. Oh boy. I aim to please. <laughs> I don't do it in the most eloquent of ways, but I'm here to share my whimsy. <laughs> All right. A bird in a hat. Two oh, yes. Yes. All right, everyone. Make sure you sign up for that Sip Sip Parade class by Friday. And everybody have a great night. We will see you Monday morning at the Creative Escape. Bye.